Hello Internet, this is Oscar Release here, showing you how to find roots using bisection method. This is a, a good way to do th uh, things if you really don't want to have to solve a root by hand, um, which for some equations is not really all that fun. So here's how bisection works. You first find some interval that contains your root uh, using points A and B. Then you're going to split the interval in two, right down the middle, with the point C. Now, if your function changes signs between uh, a and C, then you want to go ahead and pick that interval, or if it changes signs between B and C, you'll pick that interval. Uh, but what you're really going to do is pick either the right or left interval, the one that contains the sign. And you're going to keep doing this until you find um, some value of your function that's below an acceptable error, or zero if that's your acceptable error, and then you'll say that's a root. So if you want to find the root of this function, for example, the sine of cosine of e to the x, which I really don't want to have to solve by hand, then you go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to pick an a and a b, uh, and then split it down the middle with c. Now it looks in this case like the root is between a and c. So I'm going to pick the left uh, interval and try again. So now I've got a new a and b, and I'll split that down the middle with c. And now the root looks like it's in the right interval. So I'll do that again. If we zoom in closer, we can pick another C and say, you know what, uh, actually that F of C looks like it's the inter interval, but you know, it may not be, or we, and we can re uh, repeat this uh, over and over again until we find something that looks like our, uh, our actual answer. And uh, the thing to note is that bisection does have a hard time if you have a very uh, flat function in a sense. If you have uh, points that can be you know, your root in a lot of different cases. So for between a and b, it, I mean this function probably is an easy example because we know the root is obviously 5. But if um, you know just looking at it, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the root is between there. And so bisection has a little bit of trouble with this. Um, but let's, uh, let's calculate how, uh, the order of bisection. So if the order, what it's really trying to tell you is how fast is it going to converge on uh, our solution, so how fast is going to find our root? And we have um, a formula that we're going to use here. It says the error, uh, the next error after an iteration is um, some constant times our previous error raised to uh, an alpha, which we're going to say is our order. And if we take that same equation and we go back a step, so we say, okay, we'll find the, the previous error is, well, well just uh, as we have it here, uh, that e to the n is. Uh, equal to that constant times the previous error is the alpha. Now that we have these two equations, we can find that order by doing a little bit of division to cancel out the m. So we take we divide those two equations. And then if we do a little bit of a simple math, we'll come out uh, with this formula that alpha is equal to the, well, you can, you can read it yourself. And so if we use this formula uh, on an example, uh, we are given three different errors that we found using bisection method. And if you go ahead and take those and plug them into that equation that we had, then alpha is equal to um, about 1, which which means that this equation converges linearly, uh, which we would expect. The error is only going down by half every time. Uh, so how many iterations does it really take to find a root? Well, it's just going to depend on how accurate you want your uh, this root to be, this uh, what you find. And since we know the error is going down by half every time, then we could say the error is equal to uh, the quantity b minus a over 2 to the n. And if we do uh, some math on that, we can say that therefore n is um, the, the log base 2 of uh, b minus a over e, uh, which is e was our epsilon was our was our error. Uh, and if we you know, apply that to a little bit of example, say we have a is 0, b is 1, and our errors. Um, 10 to the minus 5, then we say that uh, our n is going to be about 20. So if this is our case, it'll take about 20 uh, iterations of bisection to find our root. Uh, hope you had fun. Thanks for watching.